Hello people from the other side. Welcome to a new video. As you can see, I am in my bathroom and you might have guessed. It is me doing my hair. Is it me cutting my hair or is it me dyeing my hair? If you want to guess, guess down below right before I say it. Three, two, one. I am dyeing my hair. And another thing. Can you even guess the color? Because the color was just in the video. If you guessed purple, you are correct. I'm gonna do the usual thing, which is my money piece. This part that's lighter is gonna become purpleized. Yes, that's right. And we're going to take a dip into my hair dyeing of a drawer. This is the drawer right here. Let's get this bad boy open. We gotta get the right color, and yep, here we go. As we get the bowl, which I might not need actually, because of it being semi-permanent. You have probably seen this exact brand, small like this, but pink. And to the, for the nice Easter of a time spring, I thought for a short period of time, I'd put the semi-permanent purple that I've always wanted to do. But it's just gonna be accent with the red. So there we go with that. And of course, I'm gonna need some gloves as well. And I got some nice gloves I can use here. So we'll do a quick little thing, get this drawer closed, there we go. So there we go, let's get the gloves nice and situated and get this on and it won't take very long for being semi-permanent. Now here we go with my gloves here. Gloves I've used a few times, but I'm a reuser of things, so I'm going to reuse my gloves here today. Get them ready to be usified. Yes, I say usified, and that's not even a word. <laughs> One kit, I just breathe random. So yeah, this is other pre previous hair dyes. This is probably maybe mango, which is this color here. Yeah, that seems to look like the mango right there. And then probably really like some red, some pink, from when I did pink in my hair. This one's really orange. This is probably a whole bunch of mango color on this glove. So, let's get this bed boy. Is this is nice and bleached with the, the light color. It's not gonna be too bad. It's gonna be a little bit different because of what color I'm putting on top of. That's okay, I'm putting on top of dyed hair. That's okay. It will do its thing, it's semi-permanent, so it will get its thing going. So here we go with the box. As it does show, because of how this is, that it could, that how you can use it. This is semi-permanent. It's literally going to be a tube. And guess what? If you haven't watched my other one where I did the pink semi-permanent, you don't need to use any developer for this. That's why you need to have your hair the right color underneath, light enough to get the color, depending on what color you're doing. And these are the colors that it will adhere to. This is as dark as it will go. And this is pretty accurate. It's not gonna be exactly exact. It depends on if it's a dyed color like this or a light somewhere. So yeah, but that's that. Let's see what these are. Care conditioner. And let's see what this is, care conditioner. Okay, so this comes with a couple care conditioners. There is gloves in here, but I'm just gonna use gloves that I have that are more heavy duty gloves anyway. So, I did show you the bowl, but like I said, there's probably no need for the bowl. Only thing there is a need for is to comb my hair so I can get the part I want to dye. Let me just look in the mirror for a second. So here we go, this is the part I'm gonna dye. It's gonna be maybe a tiny bit tricky because what I'm doing is not going to be using my pins my hairpins, so I'm gonna just kind of lather it on. So here it's coming out. Oops! Gotta open the tube first. And if you didn't know, you can use the top of the lid. There's a little on the top of the lid. You just use it like this, just so you know if you didn't know. So that opens it up. Huh? Color cream. Wonder why it's not the color. Well, as I opened this, this is 35. And this, it should have been, it says on the box itself, 94. 
and it did not come. It's purple coming out of the tin. When you're using semi-permanent, semi-permanent, it shouldn't look like the number's not correct on the bottle. Well, we're gonna put it in my hair and hope for the best. And it's, and it's coming out really weird. This looks like something that almost needs to be mixed with the developer. Well, we're gonna try. All I can do, I guess, is try it. I feel like it's not gonna do a thing. It's a little wrong. So whatever it's gonna do, it's gonna be a different color or do nothing. Even though it is stinging my eyes, so I don't know what that means. Maybe it's doing it? But why was the number not the same? That's what's weirding me out. Well, all in all, I'm just gonna try it. We're gonna see, it's doing a burning-ish. Not a bad one, just make my eyes water, that's all I'm doing. It, it, it's chemicals, so. But yeah, I don't know, I'm assuming it's gonna do what I want. All I can do is just, it does say ultra, but why was the number on the, on the, on the tube not the same number that's on the box? That's how you can tell what it is. Like no to tomorrow. This might be correct because it's looking light per pink ish. It's I guess it's working. And why was the number not right? Well, we'll see. This is, might be a manufacturing defect, or the number is just not right. And I don't know why it didn't come out pink in the bottle like the other one. That does not make any sense to me. I do not mean pink, I mean purple. I'm putting purple in my hair, and this should almost be coming out purple. In the tube for semi-permanent. The other one's the exact same brand. I do not mean pink, because that was the last color I did, and it came out properly. I never used it before, and well, there it is, I'll lather it on, and I'm just gonna wait a little bit, and then we'll see what happens. Well, here's my hair, yes it's wet. It might have lightened it. <laughs> or done something. I don't know why it would have lightened it because it's the color. I literally looked in my drawer of hair dyes, right? Guess what? It's this color. This. It's literally this red. True red color. It doesn't, it did not come with developer because it's not supposed to. Well, I don't know if it did a thing. You can be the judge of that. Let me know if it did a thing. But because I got <laughs> And no, I'm not saying this <laughs> <laughs> We there we go. Well, there's my wanting to have purple hair in my hair, and I'm not allowed to. So was this was this a disaster? Yes, it was a disaster. Okay, here we go. I just decided I'm going to mix the one it came with, which is the mango color, same brand. This needs developer with pink because it's the only one I have. But I don't want it to be it, it exactly the same. So what we need to do is I got my bowl here. And I'll get some gloves on in just a minute. Take some developer. Well, it didn't come with that one. It came with the other color. But I want to don't want to do is get a darker color on top. I don't want to ruin my light color. So I'm going to do a mix. I might be making more than I need, but. Let's just do this. So 30 is mango. Okay, good. It's even coming out the right color. Just how it comes out for this one. Need where's the pink? 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 Good, I found it. Huh. Got got worried there. Yes, this is semi-permanent, which doesn't need the developer, but because I'm trying to do a concoction here. Let's just do this concoction and hopefully I can have a different hair that is somewhat different. <sighs> The stuff that looks like lipstick in here. Enough of it, even though I might be making more than I need, but I gotta do as much as I possibly can to get this going on. Shouldn't take too long. I'm not gonna leave it on extremely long, but I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit. Let me see. An idiot. It like is literally hating me. It's like someone opened the box and I think might have went do, 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 with the hair dye, but made sure that it didn't put develop it so it looked right. I think that's what happened because I think it was unsealed, but I didn't realize when I bought it. I could be wrong, could be a manufacturer defect, I don't know, but all I know is it's like purple hair seems to hate me, but 
Let's see what this happens while I do this concoction and get it in the right spot. Let, let's get my comb and comb it out once more. Only thing that was it wet. Okay, there we go. Now let's comb it out. First I'm gonna do this because it's I need to make sure I need to get the right hair. It's my over hair for the most part. Here we go. I guess it's kinda wet. I don't freaking care. There it is. Is that all of it or is that too much? Here we go. Let's mix this concoction here and hope for the best. It'll probably do something. Here we go. And we go. I know I'm putting on top of the mango, but I'm seeing what it does when I mix it. To at least try to salvage this and give something slightly different. So it might be more like a interesting red instead of pink. Put a little bit there just to for, the me for measure. I know I'm doing some slightly wet hair, but I'm not waiting. We'll pretty much do it. It will do something at least. I just wanted to change up for Easter for the nice spring, at least for a short period of time. So let's cake this on and hope we can fix this mess at least to something that will make it interesting. Not saying I dislike the mango by itself, I just felt like changing it up for a short period of time. So there we go. Getting it really, 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 really situated there. And what we're gonna do now is just wait a few minutes and so, so about 10 minutes or so. And then I'll come back, my hair in a towel here. Let's get it out and yes, no comments of the towel being too big for my head. <laughs> so, as it's so like wet, let's just get a little bit of that. There we go. I don't know if it's made it a different pinkish than the other way I have done this color. All I know is it's very, very, very bright, but at least I had this one. So you can be the judge if it looks much much different than it being the way I've done it. Don't mind my forehead. I did just do my hair. That usually happens a little bit. So yeah, looking not this is a little change up for the long weekend. So and this mess up wasn't even my fault. I opened up the container and it had red. I know I probably should have looked around and checked and just didn't just put it in my hair to see what happened because when I put it in my hair it did nothing it might have brightened up the red that I had in my hair maybe slightly but all in all there it is at least it's nice and fixed up for my liking for the best I can do let's just hope if you get a, a one of these live swatch quaffed ones make sure that it's closed off with the little sticker so that might be why I didn't get the right one I don't know all in all I wasn't very happy that I didn't get my purple it's like purple in my hair hates me I've done purple in my hair in the past didn't do it right this was a permanent hair, purple hair dye didn't do it right it's like I mixed it with the red in a way and then it just dot killed the red the purple it was red but not purple and now I know how to do it and I'm doing it with a semi-permanent one and it gives me the red it's like Okay, at least it's a color that I've used, so there's that. So all in all, there we go. Thank you for joining me on this roller coaster of a hair dye of a time. So I'll see you on the next video. Till next time, sparkle sparkle, bam!